Well, hey gang, Daryl Davis coming to here to talk about how to design a career worth smiling about. So I want to talk to you about or how to handle that situation when you're on a listing appointment, the homeowner says the other agent has more experience or the other agency or they ha they're a better producer, whatever, something like that, where they're comparing you to another agent. I'm going to share two things with you or maybe more, <laughs> but first of all, if, if you're an agent who doesn't have a lot of business or have a lot of experience, whether it's because you're new or you're coming back, whatever the case is, if you know that you're going to be competing with another agent or another company, what you want to do is find out as much data as you can about that company. Every company and every agent, there's always going to be some kind of weakness. That's just how it is in business. So, for example, the number of days that their listings are on the market may be above average compared to the MLS stats. It could be their list price to sales price ratio. Um, so look at some of the statistics of, of, their, of their business and see if there's a trend where they're not as strong in that area. Now, when you go on a listing appointment, you don't, I, you don't build the tallest building by knocking down others. So I'm not saying to badmouth anybody, but if you are forced to compare, then it's okay in that scenario to show that weakness and how it might be your strength. So you've got to have a strength to counteract that agent or that company's weakness. Here's something else too. I would, I'm always a fan of analogies, so I would tell them, you know, but here's the thing. So here's the stats and da da. So I believe my company is stronger. Or I'm stronger in that regard. But I will tell you this. I'm committed to doing the best that I can for my clients so I can build my business. Sometimes top agents or top companies, they're kind of, the top is not always a, a, a positive thing because people get lackadaisical. For example, Blockbuster videos, they were huge at one point, but because they got lazy and lackadaisical because they just expected business to come to them, they went out of business. I don't even have to point out Blackberry. They cornered their market when it came to texting, but because they got complacent, they thought business should just come to them, they actually lost tremendous share. I don't even know anybody that uses a Blackberry anymore. I think they're still out there. Anyway, so that would be some of the analogies I would use, okay? All right, I hope this helped you. Have a wonderful day, and don't forget to keep smiling.